Hello everyone, Mike again here uh, with a quick, very quick predictions show for Hell in a Cell. So I'm going to go through the card and say who I think is going to win and where they may be going with uh, some of these matches. So um, I'm pulling all of these from the Wikipedia page for Hell in a Cell. So um, I believe in our pre-show we have Cedric Alexander, um, let's see, Estorado Sin Cara versus Tony Nice. Drew Gallick and um, Tivia Davari. Um, I'm not really sure who I see winning this. It's just the pre-show. Um, I really like Tony Nice. I think he's pretty good. Um, you know, all these cruiserweights are pretty good. This is a cruiserweight match. So I'm going to go uh, probably with the faces, Cedric Alexander, Lince Dorado, and Sin Cara. Um, the other three are kind of heelish. I mean, like, they did have that six-man tag on Raw with Brian Kendrick, who was, uh, the, like, a heel at the time. So I'm going with them to win. The faces, I should say. Uh, next up, um, I'm just going to go... Let me see. That's probably going to be a main event. We'll just go down to TJ per Perkins versus Brian Kendrick for the Cruiserweight Championship. Um, I can see this going either way. However, I wouldn't mind seeing Brian Kendrick win. Maybe um, pick up, like, a dirty win here. Um, you know, to and maybe further the feud. I could also see TJ Perkins retaining, but I'm probably just going to go with uh, Brian Kendrick winning, but probably like in an underhanded kind of way. I um, think he'll take that. Let's move into the New Day for, um, with Xavier Woods. So Kofi and Big E against Cesaro and Sheamus. Kofi and Big E are very close, or the New Day, I should say, is very close to breaking, I think it's Demolition's tag team record. So I don't see them losing uh, the titles to Cesaro and Sheamus now. I mean, I think Cesaro and Sheamus will probably win them at some point if they stick together, or stay together, I should say. But I do see the New Day retaining just so they can eventually break that record. I remember when uh, Nikki Bella surpassed, I think it was AJ Lee's record, she surpassed that and then dropped the title to Charlotte shortly after. So sometimes when there's a record coming up, they'll usually have the person with the belt retain it until a record is broken, and then they can drop it to whoever. So, going with them on that. We have Bailey versus Dana Brooke. Um, not really sure. Uh, I want to see Bailey get a win, because she's kind of come up short against Dana Brooke lately. But one of those, I was at the Raw where this happened, where Dana drug Bailey into the ring and picked up the, picked up the win. And if you look at the replay... It shows Dana trying to reach the ropes, so she was supposed to win dirty, but ended up, you know, not being able to get the dirty win. She just got, which was basically a normal three count when she was supposed to be using the ropes for leverage, but didn't get that. And then he, poked, I think, poked Bailey in the eye during the arm wrestling competition, even though Bailey, you know, did the Bailey to belly. After that, I can see Dana Brooke winning, um, winning dirty here, and making it so. It's not a clean loss for Bailey, so I'm going to go with Dana Brooke on this one. Uh, we have Enzo Mori and Big Cass against Gallows and Anderson. Um, Enzo and Cass are, like, super hot right now, so I kind of see them... They can take a loss and not have any momentum be lost, really. Um, Gallows and Anderson kind of need a win, I would say, to at least, like, remain somewhat relevant in the tag team, like, scene. So I, can, I see them... I see um, the club winning... Maybe dirty, maybe not. Um, doesn't really matter, but Enzo and Cass, a loss isn't going to really hurt them. So I'm going to go with the club here. We have, let's see. We did the Bailey and Dana, Enzo and Cass, New Day and Jameson and Cesaro, Perkins. We are now, I believe, into our Hell in a Cell matches. So we have Roman Reigns versus Rusev for the United States Championship. I, I see Roman Reigns retaining, even though the booking for this is kind of backwards. Um... WWE is all about, you know, not being bullies, like, you know, like, that bullying isn't cool, but in this case, the face, Roman Reigns, is being the bully to Rusev, so, you know, Roman Reigns comes out, ruins Rusev's wedding, constantly comes down and is, like, insulting both Lana and himself, um, then on the Raw that I was at, that's when Rusev showed off his family, was doing that, so Roman Reigns is kind of being a total bully here, I think... It would be cool to see um, Seb win the title, but the way they're booking Roman Reigns, I think he's going to retain. And a while ago, 
Uh, you know, I've said that the putting the United States on title on Reigns is actually a pretty good idea because let him, you know, run with that title for a while before you put him up to the main title. We said that obviously before he won the world title, but I think he can still use like a few a bit longer with this title before moving up into again into like the main event picture. But I see Reigns retaining, even though like the, the bullying thing is kind of weird. Uh, we're going to then move into Kevin Owens versus Seth Rollins for the United or the Universal Championship. Um, I can see this going either way, but I can also see Kevin Owens retaining, especially if Triple H gets involved. Gets involved. I would like to see Rollins win the title at some point, but I think that's better uh, better for like a WrestleMania or maybe Royal Rumble or one of the other big pay per views. Um, how I can see this happening, I can see it going a few different ways. I can see. Kevin Owens and Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho trying to interfere on Owens' behalf and not doing that and costing Owens the belt. That might happen. And that will set up, obviously, um, the feud that they've been teasing is Owens and Jericho. That will set that up. They could also have it to where Jericho comes out, tries to interfere, or interferes, but Triple H has to come out and actually finish the job. And then that could also create that rift between Owens and Jericho, which is going to set up their feud, which is probably going to go into Survivor Series, maybe beyond that. That's, of course, if they go with it. Or the other one is just that Seth Rollins Rollins wins. I think Rollins winning the title needs to be on a bigger stage. Maybe not necessarily WrestleMania, but I don't think Hell in a Cell. So I think it'll be a good match. It'll be close, and it will definitely be like a screwed-up finish to have Kevin Owens probably retain the title. Moving into the main event, we have or what is said to be the main event, they're calling it a triple main event now, so we don't know the order exactly. But we have Charlotte and Sasha Banks for the Women's Championship. And I think this is probably going to be possibly the end of this feud, at least for the moment. Hell in a Cell is usually where feuds go to to end. Um, a couple years ago, Rollins and, um, Rollins and Ambrose were in Hell in a Cell, and that kind of ended that feud, at least for like the moment. I mean, and then for a while it was... Roman Reigns and Ambrose, and they were constantly wrestling Rollins and, and various other people, but the Rollins-Ambrose feud was pretty much ended at Hell in a Cell two years ago. So um, I still see Sasha Banks retaining. I think it's going to be an excellent match. Um, it's the very first woman women in a Hell in a Cell match, so that should be pretty cool to see. Um, I see, like again, I see Sasha retaining, and I eventually see her wrestling Bayley for the title, probably like closer to WrestleMania. I think Bayley will win the title at WrestleMania from... Um, probably from Sasha or whoever the champion is at the time. I think it would be good to have uh, Sasha Banks heel turn at some point. I prefer her as a heel um, as opposed to a face, even though it's the the division line between heels and faces in the roster currently are your faces are like Bailey and Sasha and the heels being Dana and Charlotte, at least on Raw, as far as Raw goes anyway. But I can see Sasha turning heel and having Bailey win title at Wrestlemania, but my prediction for tonight is that Sasha will win, so we're going to go, just go down the card again, um, this is just the order that Wikipedia has it listed, I see Cedric Alexander, uh, Lince Dorado, and Sin Cara winning, I see Roman Reigns winning, I see Kevin Owens retaining, I see Sasha Banks retaining, I see Brian Kendrick winning, I see the New Day retaining, I see The Club winning, and I see Dana Brooke winning, um, hopefully I'm wrong on some of these, it's going to be interesting to see, um, pre-show should be started here momentarily but that's going to do it for this uh, quick prediction I want to thank you for watching remember remember to like comment share and subscribe and we'll see you next time take care